Hey friends, it's just Latasha and welcome to my creepy universe as we dive into this week's piece of script. Hello, welcome back. You will have this show and me every Thursday right here on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed, hit the notification bell so you guys are aware of when I drop that new heat. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, let YouTube know you love it. And every Monday I will go live with you guys at 6 p.m. EST for a live full film dissection on anything we wanna talk about. And we have such a good time in the chat. Make sure you're there. And go ahead and follow me on all of my social media. I am Just Latasha on Instagram, Just Latasha 404 on Twitter. If you're not a patron, please go ahead and do so now for live dissections by monthly. And this month, I am doing something special. I recently ended a show called Boozy Brunch Sundays last year, which some of you have mentioned you have missed. So since there's hella Sundays in this month, on the 31st, Sunday, the 31st, I will be doing a special episode of Boozy Brunch Sunday. Don't miss it. And our next exclusive private Patreon only dissection will be of Netflix's new film with Zendaya, Malcolm and Marie with a very special guest. Become a patron today. Now that we're here, we are diving into one of my favorite films and one of my favorite genres, Hereditary. Now, if you're a patron, you've already seen me dissect this, but I'm going to do something special for today's piece of scripts series. I wanted to pay attention to the theme, but let's start off with what we're talking about, what we're talking about, so what we're talking about. Hereditary is the 2018 horror film written and directed by Ari Oster, which circles a grieving family who are haunted by tragic and disturbing occurrences. And it also stars Miss Toni Collette, who <laughs> the Oscars were playing on your performance, ma'am. And I do apologize on their behalf because what this white woman did with what she had. But anyway, one of the coolest things that happened in this movie, I mean, besides Ari Aster absolutely fucking us up along with the characters, is his use of inversion. Now, follow me here. The things that appear to be good are actually invitations to absolute turmoil. And the things that are absolutely horrific might have been moments of salvation. Let's dive in. Charlie the 13-year-old daughter of the family is absolutely saddened by the death of her grandmother because they had a really special connection. Uh, <coughs> bitch, oh, hell no, no. Grandma was actually attached to her not because she was a really cute kid who had a really intriguing tick, but because grandma was nurturing the demon she implanted in Charlie back when she was a baby. Huh? Charlie was being used. And when Charlie was no longer of use to grandma, she, uh, mm. yeah. That sweet, nice, loving, nurturing, really close knit relationship was actually just some evil tragedy. Let's move on. So now, after this family have experienced two deaths, really strange things start to occur. Annie, the grieving wife and mother, meets Joan, a kind, nice, nurturing woman who offers her an emotionally safe space. Yeah, but Joan is evil and actually uses Annie's vulnerability to plant a seed of this hell-coded plan. This was all just a ruse from Joan's friend, Annie's mother, from the dead, to occupy Annie's son to implant that new demon. Mm. <laughs> That's some dark shit! <laughs> ah, ah, mm. Let's meet Peter, the teenage son of the family who's doing what teens do. He's got his friends, he's got an invite to a party, and he's got a crush on a real cute girl. Sorry guys, this, this is all gonna go wrong. Yeah. While we're consumed with Peter and what's going on, his teacher is actually telling a really interesting story about a man named Heracles. 
Heracles is a Greek mythological character who's just some pawn in a terrible, hopeless machine. A tragedy. Yeah, uh, Heracles is, uh, you and I. Speeding rapidly and arrogantly down fate sealed by hellfire and doom. Annie, in sheer terror, trying to solve this mess, rushes to her husband to ask him for help. But he's a psychiatrist. It's literally his job to see the crazy in people. That normally would be a good thing. So even though Annie is panicking and telling him the truth of all the happenings going on and what the plan is, he don't believe her. All he sees is his wife mentally spiraling out of control. His intelligence, something that's supposed to be virtuous, acts as a hindrance to her solving this problem and leading her family back to safety. So then here we have this moment where Annie sets herself and her son on fire. It's horrific, it's violent, it's traumatic, it's terrible, right? Annie knows her deceased mother has enacted this demonic plan for decades into their life and relationship. The only way Annie can subconsciously save her son and herself from this impending doom is to end them both. Her setting him and herself on fire is the utmost apology she can offer for having her family go through all this mess that she brought them. It's really thoughtful, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. But it was just a dream and they all end up in a really terrible place anyway, so... This movie essentially works as this elongated magic trick, constantly fooling us while having another surprise up its sleeve. So while you maneuver your life and watch this family maneuver theirs, keep your eye open because things are not always as they seem. I am Just Latasha, and this was Piece of Script. You guys will get a new episode of the series every Thursday. Please join me every Monday for a live show, a dissection of one of our favorite films or TV series, 6 p.m. EST. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button on this channel. Become a part of this family. Give this video a thumbs up. Let YouTube know you love it and hit the notification bell so you guys know when I drop new videos. You can also follow me on social media. I am Just Latasha on Instagram, Just Latasha 404 on Twitter, and become a patron today for exclusive live show and more content. I also do some script coverage. If you're a writer out there yourself, go on, check out the tears, and enjoy yourself. Until next time, babies, I will see y'all on the internet. Bye.